so I start by lining the disc up so you can see it's the same size as the circle. I then move it away, trying to keep the shadow as central over that circle as I possibly can. Then we zoom in so we can get a better view of what is produced. Having done that, I just bring the object back to the circle and this is all in one shot, so there's no trickery. If you stare at the circle, your eye should be able to pick up the faint edges of the penumbra just outside the circle. It's only just off-white and extremely difficult to see. Right, here we have a screen capture of my desktop. I'm going to film this in one continuous shot so that there can be no accusations of editing. If I stumble over my words, so be it. I'll try to do my best. So what we have is the graphics package in the background, my movie player with a film of the experiment here, and a folder here where the screen captures will land. I'm going to start by taking a screen capture at this initial point before anything is in front of the paper. So I screen capture it and I will just cover over the path name because I don't want to dox myself. But there we go, the screen capture image has landed there. Next we'll let it play on a bit until the card is just lifting off of the paper. So I've got a slight shadow. Let's see if I can get the right point. About there, that will do. Let's screen capture that. And that also lands in the screen capture folder. Next we'll let the video play on and I'll try and pause it and adjust if necessary to get the zoomed in point where I've got the shadow central to the circle. So it's somewhere around, let's go on a little bit more, well, actually that's not bad, let's go with that and screen capture that. And now we have our third image. Let's get rid of the movie player. So what we'll do is we'll drag the first image into the graphics package. This is just to de demonstrate a point. I'll use the color selection tool and select the white paper, delete it. You can see it quite happily has selected the entire paper. There's no artifacts or anything. The only thing it hasn't selected is the text and the drawn on circle. Point made. Let's get rid of that then. We'll now drop down the second image where the card was just lifting off. We'll do the same. We'll do a color select on the white paper, delete it. Just get rid of the selection lines. I'll zoom in a little just to make it clearer, but you can see, again, it's happily got rid of all the paper, but left the shadow, the card, my fingers, and so on. There is a slight outline. That is actually penumbra, but I accept that it could easily look as though it's just artifacts of the uh, software. So let's carry on. We'll discard this one and we will now go to the third and final screen captured image. Once again, we'll color select on white and delete it. Get rid of the selection lines. And what do you know? You can see the shadow. Here it's fading out. This is penumbra. Once you reach this point, it looks to the naked eye as though it's white, but it isn't. It actually goes outside the circle. That is shaded area. It is penumbra, and it is larger than the circle. 